Okay, hello and welcome to this JB1 vlog. Ignore if the blind comes across because the blind's really low down, so ignore if it comes across the camera. Just to focus on me. Um, today I will be reviewing Sherlock episode 3, The Great Game. Um, firstly, I'd like to comment on episode 2 as Ben did his review yesterday. I think I agree with Ben, it's very, very talonsy. So my sock just came past the camera then, I apologise for that. It's, it's very, very talons the talons of Wen Chiang. Um, it wasn't as good. I didn't think, I thought it was more hard to follow. Um, it was harder to follow than, uh, certainly, I found three quite easy to follow, so three, which is what I need to come on to now. The Great Game was an interesting one because we all knew that Moriarty was this big villain in Sherlock. I didn't know until I watched episode one slash researched it on Wikipedia slash researched it on Wikipedia. Um, I didn't know so. But no, I have to say the great game was brilliant. What with various things mixed in and out of each other and all of that. What became unclear was why Moriarty was doing all these things because we know he was ultimately trying to get to Sherlock. But then also there was the other reason of the missile plans, and then he just chucks her in the swimming pool. You know, which is... Um, I, I just, I did feel that it was just a, let's get Sherlock, and it wasn't explained why he was getting at Sherlock, or whether he was just finding him a pain. Um, you know, we don't know why as such. Um, so I suppose, um, you know, Jake, uh, who plays his doctor in Dot 2 Endgame, uh, was so annoyed at the cliffhanger. He was unbelievably annoyed that they left it on such a big cliffhanger. And uh, you could tell he was also quite impressed that they left it on such a cliffhanger. Um, I was quite impressed because I knew, I knew they'd end it on a cliffhanger because something I read in the paper to do with it, I knew they'd end it on a cliffhanger. Uh, so, um... You know, few interesting facts for you. Apparently, Peter Davison's voice was the one in the uh, planetarium. Apparently, I don't know if that's true. I don't know that yet. I will research it, but I don't know that for sure yet. But I do know that Stephen Moffat's son um, was the kid who was counting down. Um, I thought it was very clever with the star and the reason why they got to kill those certain people and and stuff. And it was a bit like solving lots of mini mysteries in one. Because, no, we're not going to have a six episode series. We're going to have a three episode series. And in episode three, we're going to have the Carl Powers case. We're going to have this case, this case, this case. We're going to have the head smashed in on the railway line case. We're going to have all of these things just to cram them into one episode. Um, which I, I did think worked because it, my mum found it confusing. But there you go. I, I didn't. I understood it. I have a very detective mind in that I understand I understand some detective results I don't understand all of them uh, Midsummer Murders I tend to understand uh, Agatha Christie just puzzles me but there you go um, so look, episode 3 The Great Game was absolutely brilliant I wasn't sure about Moriarty himself um, I know me and Jake were um, thinking of a few things for um, our Sherlock fan film and I had Jake's phone, and Jake rang his phone, using another phone, and put on the scared voice that they did in episode 3, and, uh, and we couldn't stop laughing, because I just I just went, why don't we just cut to the chase, find out who did it, and meet him in a swimming pool. Um, and, uh, yes, yeah, you had to be there. And, um, no, what else? And then, and then he said, hi, Jim Moriarty here, and he did the accent and everything. Anyway, that was a little fact for you there. Uh, but no, Moriarty won't be in mine and Jake's episode, uh, he won't be in ours, unless I get told by Jake to put him in, in which case he will, I don't know. But um, anyway, no, it was really good. I, 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 I quite like Moriarty, as it happens. It was very good, you met him, and then you don't know who he was. And then, and then my dad said, it's the man from the hospital, and I was like, oh, him? Him? And it didn't look like him, but watching it again, you can tell it's him. But no, I thought that was really, really clever. 
uh, the way that they'd met him and stuff. It was really, really clever. And the way they introduced him was hilarious as well. So, um, about what's her name? Is it Molly, the person who works there? Yeah, that was quite fun. But look, I have to say, it was a brilliant episode. It wasn't the best of the series because I preferred episode one because it had the funny stuff, but it was more a simple detective story rather than trying to make it so much like a finale, which I don't really like anything so much of a finale. I can talk my. Mine and Jake's Doctor Who Endgame Series 1 finale. It's so finale-ish. But that's because I wrote it and I like it. But I'll say the Sherlock finale worked quite well. They are doing a Series 2 of Sherlock, so roll on Series 2. And I will see you... I will see you on Monday. Because I don't... We I'm going to talk to Ben about not doing weekend vlogs. So I will talk to you on Monday. And uh, I will be... I don't know what Ben's doing tomorrow, Friday. But I will talk to you on Monday and I will be reviewing something figurey and telling you about mine and Ben's new project. So I'll see you on Monday.